Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter once again with another yarn review. This time we are going back into ice fruit, uh, ice yarns. Um, I know we just did a yarn review from them, but I got quite a bit of yarn from them. So this one's a little bit different. This one is called The Flame Duo. Um, I will put all the information in the description below in case anyone's interested. I, you can see it down there. Um, so this yarn is a little bit different. It's not as slippery as the other ones, but what I found interesting about this yarn, it did vary in thickness throughout the entire skeins of yarn that I used. It sometimes went from very thin to kind of medium thickness, which was interesting. I wasn't expecting it. I don't know if I was happy with that. It's just wasn't expecting it. I was afraid here and there that I was going to break the yarn because it got so thin, but everything held up while I was knitting. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I wasn't expecting a variation in the yarn. Um, but so I made a kind of a uh, thick scarf with it. So it is a little bit on, um, if you notice around the edges especially, um, it is a little bit hairy, which is again not necessarily a bad thing but it's just a quality of the yarn depending on who you're making something for or if they like it some people might not like the tactile sensation of you know kind of hairy yarn that sometimes we get but also what I another thing that I found which was kind of unexpected was that when knit up it was a little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be it since it was kind of on the thinner side of yarn, I thought it was going to be more lightweight um, than it actually was. Now granted, I did a ribbing pattern, as you can see. So it is kind of, you know, it comes together and so it's a little bit, you know, tight instead of some other patterns. But it was overall much heavier than I thought it was. Not a bad thing. It was just, if you're playing on something, making something that's kind of light, kind of airy, maybe a little bit more decorative than for warmth, this might not be the right yarn for you. Um, because, the well, it is very pretty, um, but it is a heavier yarn, so that way it is, it will keep in the warmth for you. Um, and it is also, as you can see, a black and gray yarn, which they did a good job of picking the colors because I like the black and gray. Um, I believe there are some other colors for this yarn that you can pick from. Um, but I like the black and gray um, because I feel like there's every other color, but black and gray doesn't necessarily get all the credit it should do. Um, also, I'll, I will try and I will get the price for this yarn and put it in the description in case anyone's interested. Um, like I mentioned before, but I'll mention it again in case you haven't seen the other videos on it. Um, ice yarn is usually pretty cheap, but I, um, at least for me, I am in the U.S. What the shipping was a little expensive so it kind of evens out so it makes it like a decently priced yarn it is still on the cheaper side but it is quite a bit of shipping at least to the u.s i don't know about other countries but just keep that in mind the yarn will be super cheap but it will be a decent amount for um shipping so you might want to order more that way kind of um when you buy more it kind of evens out a little bit more but I would definitely recommend checking it out. I do like this yarn a little bit better than I liked the other yarn that I reviewed before, which I will link to in case anyone's interested. Anyway, that's my review. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Also, if there's any other yarn you want me to review or check out, let me know and I will try my best to get that yarn so I can review it for you guys and take a look at because I love going through yarn all the time. Anyway, have a good week and I'll see you later. Bye.